by acknowledging their upcoming grief, his departure and return of the coming of the Advocate, the Holy Spirit. Mutual love and unity are the focal points of the discourses with the command to love one another. The Gospel of John depicts both Jesus' humanity and divinity, which was a big issue at the beginning of the church, church's formation. You may recall there were some heresies as to one claiming that Jesus was, uh, he was human, but not necessarily divine. The other, another claiming that he was fully divine, but not human. John depicts Jesus as both. His humanity, when he talks about the feelings that he had, he was angry at those who bought and sold him in the temple area, and that was the cause for his actions. He was tired when he sat down by the well at Sipho to talk with the Samaritan woman. He had sympathy for those who were hungry when he, just before he fed them. And he knew grief and wept at the loss of his friend Lazarus. Jesus expressed his divinity with his many I am statements. He said, I am the bread of life. Come and eat of me. I am the good shepherd. I am the resurrection and the life. I am the gate. I am the way and the truth and the life. I am the vine. I am the light of the world. And with all of those I am statements, he was equating himself to God. Because when Moses asked God, you know, what do I tell the people when they ask me who sent me? He said, tell them I am sent you. So Jesus takes on the role of God onto himself. Jesus is fully in control of his destiny. You, you may recall that there were many times when people wanted to to uh, at one time throw him over the cliff, you know, and there are other times when they wanted to grab him and put him in the prison, but he would not be caught in those times and calmly walk through the midst of the people. He was in control of his destiny. When Pilate asked if he is the king of the Jews, Jesus says, you have said it. He offered his life for others so that we could see God's love revealed on the cross. In John's Gospel, it is the raising of Lazarus, which was a key event that led to his death. The Jews saw, or the Jewish leaders, I should say, saw that once they witnessed Lazarus rising from the dead, more and more people started following Jesus. And they wanted to control what was going to happen. So that the Romans would not come in and uh, quell their revolution or, or come and put a stop to all this. So they had to get rid of Jesus because of all those who were following him. And it was Lazarus who uh, prompted that when Jesus raised him from the dead. Now, as we know, Lazarus probably died, as we all do even though he was raised from the dead. So when we ask God, you know, if only you would raise so-and-so, my relative, my mother, my grandmother, my, my friend from the dead, know that they're gonna go the way of all of human life. And it's better that we be in heaven with Jesus, who is the resurrection and the life. 